Are you, are you recording this, Vince? Yeah. You are, thank you. When, jo when John and I moved here uh, 12 years ago, Deborah was just six years old. Oh, yeah. Six years old. And uh, came and took part. And she's been with us ever since. She's been with us uh, through Sunday school. You can see here, this is Deborah being baptised mm -hmm. out in the garden as she, as she proclaimed publicly her faith in the Lord. She's been part of Gems, she's been part of Cafe Church, and, um, and then went on to become a leader in Sunday school. Deborah has fulfilled so much here in church life. We'll all remember the, the wonderful solos that she's sung. Um, she's led services, she's preached, she's done dramas from being an angel to Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> As a, as a young child, Devil was part of the Holiday Bible Club, and then she became a leader of that, and the last one actually was an upfront leader. She's been involved in outreach. This one up here, yeah, shows outreach. And for many, many years, Deborah was one of our main Rosedale runners, and even won prizes and medals for us here at Rosedale. She's created some of the church videos, um, celebration of fellowships, and has participated so much. And yes, John and I have raised Deborah, of course, as her parents and as her pastors. But she's grown up in this family, in this, the Rosedale family. <coughs> and, um, and all of you here, who've known her for so many years, have, have had a part in actually being part of this generation and passing it on to Deborah's generation. She's going to outlive most of us. <laughs> <laughs> Except her siblings, she's going to outlive most of us. You know, and, and she's going to be passing it on, as she already has been as a leader in Sunday school and, and in the church, to the next generation. Now, we all know that actually, as a member of the Rosedale family, you never quite really leave, do you? We've got others who, who maybe move away and worship with us, but when they come back, they're part of us, and that's certainly going to be the case with Deborah. Deborah, do you want to come up here and, and say a couple of things? Hello. I made a list of things in my mum's old role, so. Um, yeah, yeah, but that's okay. I just did want to start by saying that this is not a final goodbye. I am coming back to visit. It all sounds very dramatic, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been here, as long as mum said, since I was six, which is pretty much as long as I can remember <laughs> going to church. So, um, and uh, yeah, just with everything, all through primary, Year seven, homeschooling, sixth form, and I have so many memories of singing here and doing holiday Bible clubs and setting up everything in here, all the chairs every morning, and <laughs> the baptismal pool and swimming around in that, even though it was freezing cold. <laughs> and the Christmas memories are my favourite <laughs> of the Christmas trees, even though they cut your arms up, and walking here in the snow and having all those little knitted presents from Sheila and <laughs> the other people, Janet and Annie Marge, that have been here over the years. And I'm probably going to cry. <laughs> but, um, hold on. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, but I'm living and um, working in Oxfordshire now, so I will be joining my dad's church, Wantage Christian Fellowship. Um, already met up with them once at Quick Church Picnic. But even though, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> even though that's where I'm going to be attending, this will always be my home. <laughs> oh, <I'm so> <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. I know we all want to give her a hug. I can, I can do that. Thanks for that. Well, Deborah, we do want to. Um, we have a little gift for you. It is just um, a small gift, but this is a gift to say um, goodbye. Um, <laughs> um, but we also we want to give you something that, that, that you will be able to use and remember your family at um, Rosedale. And so there's a lovely um, mug here. 
which says this, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. You know that wonderful verse and we're going to be, we send Deborah out from here, from Rosedale. We send her with our blessing, we send her with our love. We send her knowing that she's going to be walking with the Lord there in her new place, in her new work and, um, and with her new church. And because this is the way that it works out, we've got um, your dad, who's going to continue being your pastor. This is a bit odd. It? it does feel a little bit like nepotism, doesn't it, when it's all like this. So, so darling, do you want to come up? Because you can come up as well. Thanks to, to Deborah. And then uh, let's just hold Deborah before the Lord. But Sheila is going to pray. And Sheila's got her, a microphone there. So... Um, Sheila, if you'd like to, you've known Deborah all the time she's lived here. Thank you, Sheila. Yes, it, it was wonderful. <laughs> Father, we do thank you for Deborah. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of seeing her grow and develop it into this wonderful young lady. Father, we, we just pray your blessing upon her. We know that you have many things in store for her for the future. And Lord, we pray that she will remember to trust in you at all times and to lean on you and that, to know, Lord, that you will make her path straight. Father, we just commit her to you and pray that in the coming days that you will just give her the patience to just wait on you to know just what the future is going to hold for her and when the way is clear to walk in it. Father, we, we just pray for your hand upon her. We thank you for the church that she is going to be part of and we pray your blessing upon them too. And we pray, Lord, that Deborah will be a blessing to them as she has been a blessing to us. But Lord, we know that She's not that far away and she will come back and we thank you for that. And we, so Lord, we just commit the whole family to you and pray, Lord, that you will have your hand upon them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Sheila, for the lovely prayer. We're going to um, finish now with...